Hello, welcome to SCLC Today. We're so happy to be back with you. Just got in from Los Angeles. But before we get into that, we want to talk about our 63rd annual convention. Stay tuned. President Dr. Charles Steele Jr., First Lady Kathleen Steele, Chairman Dr. Bernard Lafayette, and the SCLC family invites you to the 63rd Annual Convention of the National SCLC. It's the right to vote, the fight for justice, Thursday, July 21st and Friday, July 22nd. Come to the live in-person prayer breakfast Thursday morning at Hillside International Truth Center in Atlanta, and then enjoy the remaining festivities, including our 2022 honoree tributes, virtually on the SCLC Convention website. It's the right to vote the fight for justice, July 21st and 22nd, the 63rd annual convention of the Southern Christian Leadership Conference. For more information, visit nationalsclc.org. And it's going to be exciting, ladies and gentlemen, the 63rd annual convention of the Southern Christian Leadership Conference. we also been in business for 65 years. We had to cancel two of our conventions for various reasons. We'll talk about that later. The theme, the right to vote, the fight for justice continues, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm just so happy that we're going to have none other than Reverend Jesse Jackson, who will also be coming to our convention. It's all going to be virtual with the exception of our breakfast. And that's going to be Thursday, July the 21st. Our great in-person breakfast. It's going to be July the 21st through July the 22nd. That's Thursday and that Friday, 2022. You have called me throughout the last few days in terms of Akron, Ohio, and what has taken place there. Very sad, ladies and gentlemen, very sad. You know, America must really examine itself because of the violence in America. And a, a poll was just taken uh, a few days ago. Only 38 to 40 percent of Americans said they are proud to be an American. Ladies and gentlemen, don't ask what in the world is going on. Let's do something about it. Let's collaborate. Let's work together. Violence in America is what SCLC has always fought against. The violence. As I walked to my office uh, this morning, the violence of seeing people overdose in my walkway as I come into the office, in the front and the back, using the restroom. No respectability to the humanity of life. Ladies and gentlemen, America might just go to hell. I didn't say that. That was the preparation of the last speech. I'm just quoting Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. That was going to be his speech on the Sunday prior to his assassination. He called his mother and said, Mother, this is going to be the title of my sermon. America just might go to hell because that's not enough feeling, not enough concern about people in America. That's why I can put in a package about what's going on with the violence in America. Because America actually seems as though it doesn't care. What happened in Akron, Ohio should never have taken place. If you had the humanity of working together and the police training on police officers being trained, as well as the community. We cannot separate the police from the community, from the leadership of Christianity, in all religions, if they are peaceful, we must come together. Ladies and gentlemen, no separation, us for we no more. We must collaborate together and bring about a solution and a resolution to what's going on in America. I'll talk more details about Akron, Ohio. I got my own opinion, but I want to be factual, and I'm still researching it. Ladies and gentlemen, I just want you to know that I just got in from Los Angeles, California a couple of days ago. By the invitation of our local chapter, Reverend Smart, who's doing an outstanding job with SCLC, and none other than my good friend, Mr. Tavis Smiley, who invited me because we got a victory there. I'll tell you more about it. 
by going to stand for justice through the judicial system right there in Los Angeles. And God has been good to us in preparing the world. I'm not just saying in Atlanta, in New York, or LA. The world is dependent upon SCLC, the Southern Christian Leadership Conference, to lead the way and to let us know what the next step is. How do I know? Because y'all asking me. You're calling me and you want to know. And I'm saying we will come up with the right solution as well as a resolution to what's going on and what we should do. First of all, we all got to be trained. First of all, we must understand that all of this emulated itself and evolved out of slavery. It was a violent act to get us here to this country. The enslavement of a people of color and people don't want you to talk about the historicity of where we come from. That's why people are confused and frustrated and saying we ain't going to take it no more. And a part of this country in various situations, and particularly some states, who are saying that slavery was involuntarily done, involuntarily relocation. Come on, people. It was forced upon us in the belly of a ship and cast aside once we became disabled or sick. And the sharks and the other animals of the sea was feasting upon us as we lie in such a desperate manner as a human being. We were subhuman to those who enforce this particular act upon us that we had never been healed from. That's why America is going through this violence rage all over because the truth has never been told. Have a great day. Talk to you next week.